But we're back. We, we are, are back. Uh, still in the new space. Moments after the previous episode. Mm-hmm. We record about two at a time. Not always, but sometimes. Try two. Try two. Try number two. So, yeah. Um, right now, I am trying to... Look at this. I oh am doing gosh. an election. I get out, and there's like six or seven guys just you, attacking me. You drop your worm. Yeah, exactly. So and you just popped up in the middle of someone else's fight. I popped up in the middle of a lot of people getting pissed. <laughs> so, yeah, things don't go well. I get super frustrated. Um, and I notice that I don't have my worm, so you just restart. Um, yeah. Because I've gotten, gotten it. Yeah, but I was going to lose it at that point. Yeah. And, yeah, between this episode and the last episode, I waited out the time change. So they did. the viewers didn't see that. Oh, I see. Yeah. That's why it was like... Brum. Exactly. Brum. You don't have a worm. I don't. Um, <laughs> I didn't notice I didn't. Because I saved it with the worm. Right. So I had to go back oh, and get yeah, it. Oh, yeah, yeah. Also, I'm eating snacks, so this video is going to be all me chewing up snacks. Yeah, I finished my snacks off, so I'll just be drinking tea. Hopefully you won't hear that. Weak tea. This isn't weak tea. This is green tea. Keep it a hunter. Keep it hunted. <laughs> but, yeah. But, but. But. I do say that a lot. That butt. But, um. Look at that butt. That one's got all spikes Spiky on it. butt. But. <laughs> So, yeah. You are sprinting. I want to win, because that's the only... I've won this thing two or three times now. Really? Yeah. What? Or not won it, but I've completed Finished, it. Finished, yeah. And I haven't gotten the key to Glorix. So I think you actually have to win this mm -hmm. to get the key to Glorix. Uh, so I'm tearing ass to try to get the key, because then my game ends. <laughs> I win bangers. Oh. I know, right? <laughs> I actually do pretty decent driving, and I think it's because... The last time I played when you were there, I was playing on my big screen TV uh -huh. with my crappy keyboard. It was really t difficult. But oh, I was playing yeah. uh, just straight up on my desktop with monitor right by my face. Yeah, that so oh it makes sense. Yeah, look at this guy. I, I was doing that. really well, and then See, he just came. That's in. the annoying thing because you don't always die <clears throat> from a head-on collision like that, and you can always run away. But they send those terminators after you yes. immediately, and then your screen is just spinning around everywhere. Yep, and it screws me over. And I didn't actually notice what was going on and why that kept happening yeah. until I looked at the ground. Right, they send those worms at you. Yep, and I never even buy those or use them. I just sell them. These uh, the AI players use them all the time. It's super annoying, and yeah. he's just waiting for me. Look at him. Yeah. He's just waiting for me and nobody you else. Into him. Ugh. Look at there they are. Oh my gosh, that water was hot. Yeah, it's hot water. Was hot. <laughs> was some hot tea. <laughs> yeah, when you say hot, the hot water button is not like it's a little bit hot. Like wow. <laughs> I mean, it's been several minutes. But you got an insulated mug. Still. Oh, you lost your worm. I know. I know I did. And I lost my gun. <laughs> I'm going anyway. No, I don't. You didn't realize? No, I did realize. Oh. Uh, uh, there it is. I did, yeah. So I tried again. But if at first you don't succeed, give Just up. Just reload. Yeah. Reload it. <laughs> so the walls in this room that they no are, one can yep. see, whiteboard paint? Yeah, they are. Does it work well? Yeah, it, if you feel it, it's just like uh, whiteboard. But it looks like it's hard plastic. Nothing was erased that well. Nobody erased anything, that's why. It stayed on for a while. Yeah, well, nobody actually came in here and erased anything. Oh, it's just yeah. been rubbed off yep. accidentally. Like that thing over there, that yeah. weird drawing. Probably yeah, just... I mean, if you take like alcohol to these walls or whatever, sure, yeah. it'll be fine. That's cool. But yeah, I know nobody can see this, but there's whiteboard walls. It's really cool. I think I want to make my whole house whiteboard whiteboard paint. walls oof i don't know about that i do because it's awesome it's so shiny i love whiteboard it's very shiny but yes very shiny very cool but maybe just my office i don't maybe know if you want office. your the walls in your whole house to be so shiny think about like all the kids who's gonna mark all over your walls and do all i want that's true but it's, it's very shiny it, yes it is very shiny i can see making like the kids room or a playroom whiteboard yeah. paint but office. like your living room you're trying to watch a movie and it's look at this though shine in your face i am like Oh man, you're. In the I'm thick. doing pretty well. You are in the thick of it. And I'm, I'm like, yes. Run. Oh, you're in first. Look at you. I know. Don't mess it up. I try not to. You're gonna mess it up. I try very hard not to. <laughs> but yeah, I'm in first for a yeah. while, and I actually think I'm gonna be. I think I'm gonna get it. Like, for like when a long you're playing time. this right now, is your heart pounding and you're like gripping your keyboard? Yes. Like, is your face an inch from your? your I screen? actually did like this claw movement yeah. <laughs> because like my shift key and my control key for the gun. Right. So I have like a claw with my left hand. 
But then this jerk. Yeah, that's that's always you bump into somebody and then you, it's ruined. But it's not ruined initially. Oh, like first? I know. No, he's chasing. But I do decently, and I even like stop in here for my mechos to get yeah. repaired. That's this, this is the way I go straight through there. I turn here. Yep. I think I'm starting to get some of the routes down a little bit. Yeah. I mean, to be fair, it. I played this for years before I got my routes down. Am I still going the right way? You're going away, you could go. Uh, shoot those things out of your way. I know. So yeah, everyone else is passing now. That's yeah. the problem, this is where it all fell apart. Mm -hmm. this and that's why you can do so well, and you're like, yes, 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 and it's like, no, no, oh no, no. And now I get stuck, and I'm, I'm yeah. flustered at this point, so yeah. I'm like, I just gotta turn around. Why is this vehicle <laughs> turning around? Yeah, this game, it gets super hairy and frustrating. And then when I do this, oh, or now you're... I'm coming up to something, and I'm like, still like, oh. I'll boom, like that's it. <laughs> that's the whole ball game. Yeah, you should go straight down there, but there's dudes. Yeah, so now I'm just like, all right, finish it, get the beeps, whatever. Right, but yeah, that was a good first half. Yeah, yeah, I played. See, you shouldn't even be in this area. Yeah, I gave it 110%. This, <laughs> this is a bad, okay, right here is a good place to be. Go down there, straight down from where you were there. But this stuff, don't go this way because there's nowhere to go. Yeah. At this point, I've relied on the compass bug. I've given up, like, trying to, like, so optimize my route. Right? Yeah. You just made a loop. I, I try to stay, like I say every video, on the up roads. Uh, so right where you were in that, like, kind of mesh tunnel top, mm -hmm. and you dropped down, there's this, you shouldn't have dropped down. And now I just decide I'm just going to drive just through <laughs> water. <laughs> Yeah, well, it was a good start. It was. It was good for a while. Mm -hmm. And I still, now it gives me a little bit of hope. Like the I, dude's still chasing you. Like, I can get the key to Glorix. Like, even a, a little scrub like me <laughs> from the other side of the tracks can make it <laughs> and get the key to Glorix. Your dookie can get the key, the key to Glorix. <laughs> Maybe you can, too. Where'd my dookie at? Or where'd my dookie go? Where'd my dookie go? <laughs> Kim Peel. They're very funny. You should watch them. Go in. What are you doing? I'm trying. I do. I do go in. You derp. I did it. Look. I'm in. You didn't dock it up too bad. No. I completed it again. And uh, I was like, fighter. for the, I was like the off chances the third time I've done it. Maybe. Did you talk to him? I, he didn't say anything. I did talk to him. With hope. Yep. There it is. Yep. Nothing, Nothing to say, fitter. <sighs> There's an ambulance. Just went by. Dan's so. going to pick it up on the mic? It might. This is a pretty good mic. But Wolf, Wolf. they'll pick up me, <laughs> me saying, saying that there's an ambulance. There's an ambulance. <laughs> Send an ambulance. Ambulance. <laughs> Send an ambulance. <laughs> ambulance. So I, I'm too upset. I just give up. Like, <laughs> it, it was at eight it. minutes instead of ten minutes. Yeah. Well, what so, are you going to do with that two minutes? Yeah, exactly. I mean, you could just not record your trip back up. I could have record two. I was distraught, time, but yeah, because of that, it took it out of me. <laughs> it took it all out of me. <laughs> was that today? You did it today. That was today. Yeah, like a couple hours ago. Yeah. All right, Lampasso. I just won nuclear war. I did a tabu task, and I bought a Bieberet, and he wants me to take him to Ogorod. So I gotta drive him down to Ogorod. O Ogorod is a person or a place. Ogorod is the bottom most S K von Glorks. Oburez is the dude. In Ogorod. Got it. So anytime you pick up those little guys from the S caves, after you do a tabu test, you can buy that little person in a box. Like I just got that beaver out. You can get um, and what are they called? Uh, the ones in on Fostral, some kind of worm. I forget what they're called. See, you, I don't know why you're not small all the time. This seems like such oh, a better way to go. Yeah, it is. But your armor is not as good when you're small. Yeah, but still. And it's it feels weird. The handling is different. You don't look like a, a dumb... Yeah, it's a lot better to be small. A lot better. Especially in a big car like that. So, but sometimes the... Uh, you doing all right over there? Yeah, my foot's itchy. <laughs> so, Amber lamps. Amber lamps. Uh, when you do these passenger things where you buy a beaver or buy a... What are they called? I don't know. When you buy the people and take them where they want to go, sometimes... When you complete the journey, they'll give you a code. Um, and then there's a specific world with a puzzle that you have to use that code for. And it's specific to your save. Hmm. You'll always get the same code if it gives you one. Okay. And it's it's randomly generated. It's, for, it's like the same format. 
um, but it's for you. Yeah, Matt. For Matt. For Matt. Hey. <laughs> hey. So I just Ooh. got the pass to Necross. I'm an agent now of Glorks. Nice. So, so I, now you're going to the next world? I can go to Necross. I think I go to Ogrod first. And then maybe I... Uh, Ooh, he, he gave me this. Is uh, Necross the last world? Figura. Uh, no, it's not. But it's the next. It's the last one with actual S caves and people that you can do things for. Okay. Um, so I just got also access to one of the big underground Glorks storage things up by Gira. So I think I hit that up too. Sweet. I don't know if I do it all in this video. It's a lot of stuff, but I've got that. Function A3 plus, so I think I just go straight to the cross after I go down to. I don't know. We'll see. <laughs> it's been a long time. It has. I'm back to big. I keep saying that I gotta just power through and record a whole bunch. Yeah. I do need to do that so we can finish this off because this has been going on. For it's way hard too to long. want to do that though when you. I know. When you are kind of grinding. In I know game. it is. Like, even in an RPG, like, I love RPGs, right? But, like, grinding, uh -huh. it sucks. Just in the forest killing pigs. Yeah, they're like, oh, yeah, I ran into another slime. Cool. <laughs> one experience point. I played Baldur's Gate for six hours. Baldur's Level Gate is once. cool. Yeah, I played the, the PlayStation 2 game for a while. Oh, I I only played the, uh, the PC, PC ones. Yeah, yeah, and those are great. Like, those games are awesome. Runs on the Infinity Engine. The, uh... The graphics in Baldur's Gate One are not that great, but they they're the pretty pre good. They're pre-rendered. Yeah, that was like of the style of the time. Yeah, where they're you had, all like, like Starcraft was pre-rendered. Civ Three. Yeah. Um. But yeah, the uh, Baldur's Gate PlayStation Two games were pretty good. I enjoyed them. They weren't anywhere near as complicated as the PC. You games. are your collection of video games is the most esoteric it's collection very, of video games I've ever seen. It's basically, very interesting. It's like what we found used at GameStop. Like it, pre -owned. Yeah, it was very well, we could, okay. So Cape Cape Cod, see Cape Cod. Oh, Cape Cod. <laughs> so all the the codes are like that, like bake rock, whatever, like A, E, and O, and then different constants. So I okay. rename my save dot Cape, Cape Cod. Cod. So I remember the code because I'll need that eventually. Man, that is smart. That I is know, right? clever. I used to just write it down, and then I realized well, I can just make it my well, save file, and then you it's are just there. The height of just too much. The problem with that is if you don't remember it when you need it, you have to exit the game and then load your save file. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I guess that's true. But it's like a reinforcement, so you won't. You see it, it, but you see it every time. Yeah, you load your yeah, game. yeah. I can't remember if I go to that storage spot or if I just go to the cross. I don't need anything from it, so why would I go? I think I go because I'm a big dummy. <laughs> I mean, it's hard not to because it's like you have access to this super sweet secret underground storage facility. Right. You're like, oh, oh, check that out. Wonder what's in there. Usually something expensive. Yes. Something heavy. Yeah, you know, I don't like this game, but, <laughs> but, I'm gonna get a little misty when this Aww. when this playthrough ends. Little little bit of cutting onions in here. I don't know if anyone can tell but i love this game <laughs> this is new information <laughs> <laughs> i just think it's such a complicated it is completely impenetrable like excruciatingly difficult to learn game yes and it, it's like i just think it's it's very interesting it's it's okay so that's why i was saying we were hanging out the other day and i was like we should play some sierra adventure games because those are exactly like uh-huh strange weird puzzles yeah, with yeah. like and if you miss something you can't finish the game to Matt play the dig the dig is a lucas arts game yeah lucas arts yeah which Man. i i was never a sierra guy i was always the lucas arts adventure game mm -hmm. guy so i played sam and max and i played loom loom and yeah. monkey's monkey island and uh maniac mansion those are all great those puzzle games though always made me so mad because sometimes the it doesn't make sense that like you would never know, unless you just tried everything. Yeah, possible. you just rub this against this forever. Right, and I just I like them where if you're smart and you can figure it out, like oh this makes sense, not oh I happened to put this rock on this stick so and I made a. There, that's a theory. That's why like adventure games kind of lost a lot. Like one of the things why they lost popularity is because uh -huh. the designers like they'd start out and they'd be like semi like mm -hmm. oh, okay you need to add the water to the fire and put the fire out or something right. like that, and then. 
the fans just kept getting too good at them and they'd finish them so they'd be like all right you need yeah. to take the goldfish and tie floss around the goldfish right, and exactly. then you throw the goldfish in the sack and then the sack you'd like and it got so click crazy. on this middle crack in this rock oh yeah pixel oh pixel perfect clicks right. worse ridiculous but yeah but the mo- the modern adventure games even played broken eggs like that's pretty great uh, that's Tim those. Schafer, ex Lucas Art guy. Um, I think the closest thing I played recently to what you're saying is like Penumbra, the Penumbra games. I don't know if I played, played those. No. They're kind of this like puzzle adventure stuff, but I was I couldn't I was playing through them and then I got to a point where I could not go further because I got them on Steam. When I was playing them, the computer screen that I was supposed to look at and solve it was blank. Oh, there really? was nothing on. <laughs> so I just had to know the sequence of arrow key and enter clicks. I think there's an adventure game that you'd like, and you can get it on your phone too. I beat it on my phone. It's called Machinarium or Machinarium. You're like this little robot guy yeah. in like this world. And it was made, I believe, by a French guy. And it is just, it's so, the art style is so great. The puzzles are not too difficult. Um, cool, cool. But it's, it's great. And I, like I said, I played it on my phone, so it's completely doable on a phone. All right, so on the map, <coughs> you see this big, like, dark circle? Mm-hmm. That's where this storage thing is. Oh. But look, look what's in it. It's this piece of garbage. <laughs> so, you know, like on uh, Fostral, you get Flemma and you get Nimbos? Yeah. On the cross, I forget what they're called, but this is one of them. So sometimes in these things, in these secret storage things, they're really you valuable, have to go small because you necessary make yeah, <laughs> artifacts. And sometimes there's just garbage like this. Uh, and so, like when you were talking about doing a speed run, yeah. sometimes you just don't know... Which so thing? But the, like you said, some people find exploits and they find well. So and then a lot of speedruns too. They call this RNG, like random number right, yeah, generator. Yeah. So they they kind of build that. They're like, oh yeah, this could be this could be like a twenty second thing if I get uh-huh. really good luck, or it could be like twenty minutes if I get really bad luck. Right. Usually it's not that extreme, but they know that there is some random number generation built into the right. game, and they know it's pretty luck based. So like the world records are like, I got all the luck, ever. Right. 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 <laughs> Um, I think I'm going to the cross now, and for some reason I'm going to the passage instead of just using my function 93 plus to go directly there. <laughs> I think for like nostalgia purposes, I was like, oh, I'll use the passage. <laughs> so we're going to a new world. Now the thing with the cross, so when I'm I excited. Went, when I went to Glorks, oh, the cross is disgusting. I hate it. Really? It's like all swampy and gross. But when I went to Glorks, remember, I went into the bottom S cave and dug for that dog collar yeah. thing so I wouldn't get turned into a slave. Same thing here. If you go into the first S cave you get to... They'll just take they all your that. stuff? You have to go in the bottom one. It's called B-Zone. And you have to go in three times. Every time, he's like, oh, hey, how's it going? All right, see you later. And then if Okay, you- I can already <clears throat> tell you, this is way better than Glorks. Um, it is. The driving is better here than Glorks. But no, see, if you're on these up, like, webby roads, uh huh, it's fine. It's a little... Bumpy and gross, but it's fine. If you try to drive on the bottom ones that are clearly roads, uh-huh. there's, they're impossible. They just like switch back and forth all the time. There's reeds over I just them. meant from a visual perspective, this is more pleasing to the you eye. You like it than, visually? Yes. I like the blues. I like the purples. Okay, the well, reds. also, you can't hear the music right I now because we have it muted. It's obnoxious. Really? <laughs> it's like Foster is like kind of chill. Like, don't do the I've noticed that, like, when I'm, like, when I'm with my thoughts, like, idle thoughts, like, sometimes the music, the music for the dumb, like, do, 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 like, I'm yeah, like, ah, oh, down, 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 go away. Yep. I've heard that <laughs> so much. It's, I hear it when I'm playing, I hear it when I'm editing, like, oh, the corpseification. I hear it when I'm rewatching our videos, because, yeah, I do that. <laughs> yeah, man. These are great videos. Because <laughs> I. I we crack me up later. <laughs> Future me is cracked up by us now. Yeah, bottomless pits. Guffaw, guffaw, guffaw. <laughs> I don't know what where I, where I am time wise in this video, but I think I just go into B zone once and save it, and then yeah, on the next time, on the next time, <laughs> I will be um trying to trying to get the key to Explo. So on this world, do, have, does the roads like fall apart? They're they're on so on Glorks, you know, uh-huh. the road, roads collapse. Here, there are these openings that like swell open and shut, like that's breeding. Oh, those. okay. It's disgusting. I hate Necross so much. <laughs> Man, I don't. I like it way better than. And Glorks. there are there are, there's quicksand all over the place if you're on the swamp, and then you happen you like get stuck in quicksand, you can die. And stuff. And I have to resize myself every time I want to go into the entrance <laughs> because I'm too big. <laughs> I want to see what these dudes look like. Uh, they look weird. Ooh, they're like 
Ugh. They're like bugs. Yeah. First they look like a little amoeba. Amoeba. No. What am I thinking of? No, that's right. Amoeba? Yeah, because all these little blobs. Yeah. Yeah. I almost said amiibo. Amiibo? Because <laughs> I've been saying that a lot, but... Oh, no, maybe so I do do it. So I, you have to go in, in and out three times. For what to happen. So to not get turned into a slave. Like, if you go oh. into the other S cave, slave. And he's really friendly down here. He's like, hey, you should really go up to the other place. They'll get you set up really nice. He's like, You well, again? Why like, didn't she go see Zephra? Go Zephra. You know, it'll be great. Thanks for this. Uh, you're great. You're great. See you later. You know, he's really nice <laughs> about it. And he's not lifting any weights nope. for his <laughs> skeletal arm. So the third time you go in, he's like, ah, you figured it out. You outsmarted us. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Here, I think it's what he does. He's like... Uh, Thanks but, for the coupons? No, uh, that's just a thing. Oh, you're a deep one. Smart of you to have suspected a trick. Blah, blah, blah. So the story here, so the on Fossil there's the elixion. I forget what it's called here, but the story is that the thing you're transporting to win mm -hmm. is a vanger who went in up there and got turned into a slave. Oh, they're really? Like packing with clay and making this doofy looking thing and you gotta carry him down. Interesting. Man, this lore is so deep. <laughs> Man, it, it's crazy. There's so much of it. And we skip over almost all of it in mm -hmm. these videos. <clears throat> like the the surface isn't barely scratched. Even with all this. We need to do a two hundred episode uh, reading of but all the time. Like, it would be a lot. And it's a, I think it's a really, really interesting story. Yeah, this game seems like you get out what you put in. It, yeah, really, you do. And for me, it's been like 13 years or something. Well, next time. On the next time. Fart. <laughs>